Hey everyone, Miles Greb here, and I'm back doing another one of these voiceovers of Garrett's drawings. Um, so, you can see here, this is Puck, the titular hero of our new series, Puck the Artist, which just got funded on Kickstarter this morning, so I I'm so excited about that. Um, you know, we work about a year on this story, and then you have to put it out there in the wild and just hope that um, people respond to it. You know, before they read it, they just respond to the ideas or the art or something about the way you're explaining it. And uh, you just have to hope people respond to that and like it. And, and people have, and, and that's a great feeling. So, anyways, here's Puck, and he's he's our main character, like I said. Uh, he's a very introverted guy. He's an artist. He lives in his grandfather's basement. Um, he drew himself a little mouse named Pit for her best friend. Uh, he has his two close friends, of course, Ashta and Tolo. Uh, Tolo we did in the last drawing video. He um, is an expert in drawing things into existence, so I mentioned that that's one of the main metaphysics of this world. Um, Puck is extremely skilled at doing that. He can do lots of different styles, watercolor, etchings, you know, charcoal, pencils, inks. He is not um, very adventurous by nature. He doesn't like to fight. Uh, um, he's not even really an explorer. He likes to kind of stay in his head and make his own worlds. He has this kind of treasure trove of fantasy ideas that he's um, that have been passed down from his mother to him. Um, he never got to see his mother, but his um, grandfather would tell him the stories that his mother passed down, and so he kind of thinks about them a lot and tries to draw them into existence, and he feels closer to her because of that. So that's kind of mo I see that Garrett has redrawn his nose about four times. I've noticed that his nose changes sometimes in the art. Um, I really like the way Garrett draws it. Though. I like all the smooth lines and everything. Uh, Garrett designed Puck originally, like totally without me as a character. You know, I, I added all the kind of um, some text into him and, and changed the way it works in the story. But he like he's the one who had the idea to to make this character who's an artist as the hero. Um, and, I think he really likes this character a lot, so it, it's fun for me drawing him because I get to add new aspects to him, and then I write him the story and just kind of send him the draft, and I'm like, I hope you like it, you know, and he has um, so far, so that's good. Um, you see he has a cape here, and he has like a little bangle on his arm. Um, you know, things will change for Puck from the way that he's first introduced to the story. Um, once color is discovered, you know, there's a lot of expectations that are put on him. He has to do things that he normally wouldn't want to do. And so I think he's going to be a fun character to write because, you know, he's not Hercules, he's not Luke Skywalker, you know, he's not Captain America, he doesn't really have that kind of drive, he's a different kind of character, but he has a special um, ability that a lot of main characters don't, and that's his, um, his kind of introspective nature, and so I think that'll be fun, and you can see Garrett's drawing some extra little monsters there. He does that a lot, and I like to try to figure out what they are in the story. You know, like he'll draw a little monster guy. I'm like, oh yeah, that's these guys, and they're from here. So it's been a really interactive process. Well, anyways, uh, it's time to wrap up this video, and thank you all for uh, supporting Puck the Artist, and uh, have a good day.